Alright, I'm Evan Kaif and I'm Ben Smith. I'm Matt Stegbauer and we're all juniors at Brilliant High School. And we're about to show you our project that we worked on this semester. Scratch is a program created by MIT. It's a basic programming software with uh, different blocks, drag and drop, in different colors, and you can manipulate the character around the screen. If um, a lot of the programming is about if and then statements, real easy to operate, and uh, just a real easy program for kids to get down the whole programming process. With uh, Scratch's program, there's what's called a Pico board, and a Pico board is works with Scratch. You can manipulate the character by using a slider button, push to make, sound sensor, and four other inputs. Uh, last year we started taking a class called Computer Science and the first semester of that class we just got ourselves familiarized with the programming of Scratch, like making simple games and manipulating the character on the screen and after that semester uh, we got a little uh, more advanced with this and we decided to use the Pico board inputs to make uh, a controller. So we uh, made a couple prototypes of the controller as you can see here and it took us a couple times to get the right fit for your hands and uh, what the kind of design we wanted to make. And then towards the end of the year, we ended up making uh, this pretty simple controller out of wood and to push to make buttons and an analog stick. And that takes up four inputs because there's one for each of the buttons and then there's an X and Y uh, input that uses two inputs. And then we made a game for this controller uh, to make it work. Some of the problems that we had with our first original um, controllers was that we only had four inputs on the Pico board to be used with Scratch, and all four of them were used with one controller. We were kind of limited to what we could do as far as buttons. We were only allowed two buttons with a joystick, and uh, we weren't allowed to have two players. So uh, we tried to brainstorm different ideas to allow us to uh, use more than one controller and more than two buttons. Having limited buttons with our controllers, Evan decided to do some research on keyboards. After ripping apart our keyboard, we found out that all a keyboard is is a bunch of push to make buttons. After tearing out the membrane switches, I took a wire and went from each one of these black little leads and mapped it out on a piece of paper to, to be able to control tons of buttons. Finding the discovery about the keyboard and the many different inputs we uh, came to the conclusion that we wanted to make like a portable arcade system which would allow us to have multiple players and more inputs than the four that we had. So we decided to uh, start prototyping and finding an arcade system that we can make. After we got our plan set for how we were going to make this arcade system, we were fortunate enough to get uh, receive an educator grant from WPS for $1,000 to fund this project. This, that money allowed us to buy everything from the wood that we built on here to the metal to the computer screens right here. After prototypes, we decided to start building our arcade system. We started with half-inch steel tubing and we built a frame, which is right over here. We did everything from the welding to grinding the painting uh, yep. and then from there we decided we would make a wooden countertop which is what you see here it's uh, we put three sheets together and uh, we put the sides on and glued it all together stained it sanded it, it everything now that we had the case system built we need to incorporate the keyboard system into all of this. So what we did is we took six buttons on each side and ran them to that keyboard. If you look underneath here, you can see all of the wiring action happening. It goes from all of these buttons and runs to this, key to this, which runs to the keyboard. And then from these joysticks, these joysticks run two, two sets of wires to the Pico board, which runs to the computer and works through Scratch. After having everything built, uh, we kind of went to the computers and with our class, our classmates from the computer science class, we started to design games 
uh, for the arcade system itself. And it, if you look here, this is one of the games we made. Dodgeball, made by Brent Levash. You have all the if-then statements for every character down here. And then... Evan's using the six buttons from the keyboard and the joystick playing this game. This is our finished product of our arcade system. We have um, game plates that can be interchanged and kids can design their own. We have a sound system, two monitors that display the same thing. So it allows um, two players to be saying the same game at all times. We have our computer underneath. Just a basic computer plugged in with a Pico board for our joysticks and then our keyboard which allows us to have the buttons. Then here's our base box for our sound system. Here are our plastic side panels, WPS. Then we also have a, go a uh, engraved nameplate right here thanking WPS for the innovative grant and explaining what this is. Uh, after this is finished, we plan to uh, use this as kind of like a recruiting tool for younger kids to take computer science. And it also just allows other kids to see kind of what we're doing, so they kind of get a better idea of what goes on in computer science. Makes kids excited for the class, makes them want to be innovative and want to try new stuff.